Hi and welcome to the third video in this Getting Started series with Payara. My name's Cuba, I work as an apprentice software engineer here at Payara and in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process of starting an instance of Payara server. If you haven't already seen the first two parts of this series yet then I recommend you go back and watch those first as they'll be getting you up to speed on what we're going to be doing and showing you how to set up the software. So there's two main methods that we're going to be covering for starting the server in this series. It's going to be through the command line interface and also through our IDE, which we've chosen to be NetBeans for this series. The reason we chose NetBeans is because NetBeans comes with a set of built-in integration tools for Pyara, which makes starting the server and managing our deployments through it really easy. So with all those things covered, Let's get straight on onto our desktop and see how we get the Pyara server started through the command line interface. So I have my bash terminal open. First thing we're going to want to do to get things started through the CLI is to CD into the directory where we installed Pyara in the last video. So I'm just going to CD through into my downloads folder and into the Pyara 5 folder that we extracted from the zip file before. And then we can cd into the bin directory. Under this directory we get access to the as admin. This is the main way of interfacing commands between the Pyara server and the command line interface. To start the domain we simply have to type start dash domain and press enter. This will start the domain in the background which may take a couple minutes depending on your machine and then the server is started. Next of all, we can create a custom domain by typing in the create domain command followed by the name of the domain that we want to give it. I'm going to use test domain in this example. Once you press enter, you'll be prompted to enter a username and password. If you don't want to use one for your admin systems, just press enter and it will use the default admin as the username with no password. And that will create a new domain for you in the background. For us to start this new domain, we simply have to type dot slash as admin start domain and follow it with the name of the domain that we've just created. Then press enter to go through the same process to start the domain as we did previously. And after a couple of seconds, the domain will be started. So we can also do some extra things when starting the domain, such as dash dash debug to start in debug mode, and dash dash verbose, which will start the server in verbose mode, printing the logs out into the terminal. These can also be given using the dash d flag or the dash v flag respectively. Okay, so now we've got those covered, let's move on to how we can start the server through NetBeans. So I've opened up NetBeans, and as I said before, NetBeans has some default integration tools for Pyara Server which make this really easy. So the first thing we're going to want to do to get this started is head over to our Services tab, right click on Server and click Add Server. We'll then choose Pyara Server, which is there by default, press Next. Then you want to pick the directory where you extracted Pyara 5 last time. I've already done that and you can see it's detected the Pyara install there. Press Next it'll give you an option to pick the domain you want to use. As you can see, it lists out all available domains. I'm just going to choose domain one. We'll type in the username to be admin. If you're using a custom domain, then you can set the username and password for whatever you had before. Once you finish up, you'll see a new Pyara server entry under the servers. We can start this by right clicking and pressing start. When prompted with the following screen, we want to make sure to select JDK 8 as our option, or JDK 11 if you wish to use that, but Pyara does not run on any JDKs above those versions yet. If you don't get prompted with 1.8 as an option, then simply press the Manage Platforms button to add it. After this has been completed, you can see that the server starts, and we'll get some things printing out in the log below. To stop the instance of Pyara server, we simply right click and press stop. Once the little loading icon has disappeared, we know that the server has shut down and we're ready to do any other things that we need to do. We can also restart the domain, start it in debug mode, start it in profiling mode, and various other options from this menu, making managing the server really easy. 
So now that we've covered those things, we can finally move on to creating and deploying our application, which we'll be teaching you to do via the admin console, the command line interface, and through NetBeans. So thanks very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.